Next, we're going to look at the methods used to differentiate exponential functions. Now, if you recall from the algebra topic, an exponential function is anything of the form y equals a e to the b x, where a and b are just constants. When we differentiate an exponential function, we'll get the derivative dy by dx. All we do is we multiply the coefficient of e to the bx by b, or by the coefficient of x. So that will give us a, b, e, and our b remains intact. Our coefficient of x up here remains the same. So essentially all we're doing is we're multiplying the whole term by the coefficient of x up here in the power. So if we take an example, let's say for example we have 3e to the 2x. All we would do is multiply the 3 by the 2 and we would get dy by dx equals 6e to the 2x. We'll look at the reasons behind this in a later tutorial when we examine the chain rule but for now it's really a case of just trying to remember this methodology. You've always got the equation sheet if you need to refer back to that. We'll just do a couple more examples. Let's say, for example, we had y equals minus a half e to the minus 3t. Now, just because this variable up here is t rather than x, the process is exactly the same, except our differential will be dy by dt instead of dy by dx. The variable is t instead of x. So we would multiply the minus a half by the minus 3. Well, minus a half times minus 3 is just 1.5. e to the minus 3t, the minus 3 would remain intact. Therefore, the derivative of minus 0.5e to the minus 3t is 1.5e to the minus 3t. And the final example we'll do is y equals 1.2e to the 0.5x. Now once again, the process is very straightforward. All we do is we multiply the coefficient of e to the 0.5x, which is 1.2, by the coefficient of x in the power, which is 0.5. So dy by dx equals 0.6e to the 0.5x. And for the time being, that's all we need to know about differentiating exponential functions.